here. You probably know me as Paul Zimmer. Um, I've been involved in a lot of news, rumors, drama lately. I've been accused of being a scammer. Uh, people want to know why I disappeared. Am I married? Did I have a baby? Hi guys, it's Riley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you want to subscribe, feel free to subscribe. But let's get on with the video. Today, we are going to be talking about TikTok drama once again. But this is actually some interesting TikTok drama. This is... Paul Zimmer, aka Troy Becker, because he has returned to YouTube slash TikTok, and it is very interesting. So if you are not aware about the whole Paul Zimmer, Troy Becker thing that has been going on musically slash TikTok slash Instagram slash YouTube, it is a huge can of worms. It is a rabbit hole you would have to dive deep into because it is seriously not something I've ever seen before, to be completely honest. So there is a guy named Paul Paul Zimmer and he would make those cringy boy musicallys back in the day you know when the boys dance without their shirt and they like body roll and stuff like that I don't know he was doing one of those he was basically known on musically for doing that for showing off his body and whatever it has been rumored and alleged that he used to scam his followers so I'm pretty sure he had a little kid based audience and it has been rumored and alleged that he would go on live for a very long period of time and basically ask for money from them. Or I also heard that he would do stuff like he would ask for a gift, which I'm pretty sure gifts are like you have to pay for gifts so gifts are like another way of money so he would do like a gift exchange for like a duet with someone and they would be featured on his channel but he would never do the duet with that person he would just get the gift which is money and that's a little like sketchy but this is all rumored all alleged i don't know if that actually happened probably did but you know this is all alleged okay so once that started happening once people started calling him a scam once they started calling him out the drama channels doing their work calling him out for scamming people you know what i'm saying he just went off the face of the earth you know everything was basically deleted and people thought that he got banned off of musically and stuff for scamming i don't know if he got banned for scamming but you know whatever so everything was deleted he would he just left so everyone's like wow well we didn't know what happened now and then this guy named troy becker came into place troy becker is paul zimmer but paul zimmer said he wasn't Troy Becker and he kept up this narrative that Troy Becker he is this actor I'm pretty sure that's what the storyline was and he's just doing his thing living his life being a model being an actor and when Troy Becker is Paul Zimmer but they denied it this entire time that they were two separate people when they are the same people if you know what I'm talking about so that was weird it wasn't really anything like like that wasn't scandalous it's just weird Troy Becker pretended that he was 16 so Paul Zimmer pretended to be a different person who was a 16 year old when Paul is 24 in real life so that's weird who like ugh, huh who would want to act or pretend to be eight years younger than their actual age please let me know because that's no that's just weird so people started like calling him out like dude we all know you're the same person we all know Paul Zimmer is Troy Becker stop with this narrative just because they look alike he has a pretty recognizable face he has a very distinct face and even if he has facial hair you can still he's not a completely different person just because you have facial hair so that was a little odd to me in my opinion he has just returned to TikTok slash YouTube and he posted a YouTube video yesterday basically addressing everything that has been going on for a while and I was listening to it I was like okay keep talking I'll let him explain it the name Paul Zimmer is something that I made up it is a stage name it was never my real legal name okay I made up the name Paul Zimmer when I was really, really young, when I first started social media. I was probably like 10 years old, actually. I have no idea. You know, I did it for safety reasons. I did it also because I wanted a cool sounding name. Come on, I'm like 10 years old. 
So yeah, that's where the name Paul Zimmer comes from. At first, my friends would still call me by my real name, which was, at the time, Paul Gutowski. They would still call me by that until I started to get a little bit of success on social media, which, by the way, took me freaking forever. But as soon as I did get a little bit of success on social media, I noticed that my friends and even my family started, you know, calling me by the stage name Paul Zimmer. But he basically said that he gained popularity under Paul Zimmer and Paul Zimmer is just like his stage name. His real name is actually Paul. Something happened and he just had to leave social media. Like quit it, being deleted, everything done. Which I'm like, ooh, like that's pretty bold in my opinion. Was given an ultimatum. It's like we, I continue going this way, you know, in social media, going on this terrible path of losing myself even more and spending every single waking second on social media, you know, entertaining people, trying to grow, doing that, keeping up with every single trend and everything, like, keep going in that way and lose the girl that I love. But I'm like, okay, I was believing the story, and then he said, like, in that hiatus that happened, he was off social media, you know, he got married, had a kid. People were, like, really surprised that he came back with, like, a whole wife and kids because he pretended to be 16, so I'm pretty sure people were, people were under the impression that he was this, like, 16, 17-year-old kid, or maybe 18 I don't even know but he's actually 24 so he's like at the age you know where you could get married and have kids he went under the name Troy Becker and he actually I'm pretty sure he legally changed his name to Troy Becker friends or family or anyone would call me Paul Zimmer it's like I'm not this person anymore so I was I was really really lost in it and that's when I was like you know what I need to really find myself and that's when I came up with, you know, Troy Becker. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy to like create a whole new name, but it's like, I don't really think anyone knows what I was going through in my head. So yeah, so he basically said that he had changed his name to Troy Becker and then this is the part where I started not believing his story. Everything seemed believable up until this point. When he said multiple people had access to his Instagram account. First off, there were some recent videos that leaked out about me saying, you know, I'm not Paul Zimmer. I look like this Paul Zimmer person, but I'm not this person. Now, those videos were never meant for social media. Those were jokes between me and who I thought were my friends, like in a group chat. I still to this day don't know which one of them but a lot of people had access to my Paul Zimmer accounts. So one of them decided to go ahead and take those videos, put them on social media, and write these crazy captions. Okay, absolutely crazy, and then make like these Troy Becker accounts. Okay, now remember, I am not ready to be, you know, I'm not ready to be online whatsoever. And, you know, this friend of mine literally made my life a living hell because now I'm being accused of all of these different things. I'm being accused of being this person, that person, about lying about this per about lying about being this person, lying about being that person. I don't know about you, but no one has access to my accounts. Not my YouTube account, not my Instagram, not my Twitter. And especially if you have thousands like hundreds and thousands of people who follow that account why would you give your password they said multiple people had access to his accounts and they started posting his videos and he didn't want it to get leaked like he didn't want it to get leaked that he was troy becker but then the people leaked it and i'm like okay this is where i stop believing his story I believe he did it the entire time because I don't believe other people had access to his account because I just don't believe that. I'm sorry. I only have 700 followers on my Instagram account, but you best believe no one has the passwords to that. Like, I'm not risking anything, you know? That was the part where I was like, hmm, I don't believe it, but I kind of believed his whole storyline up until that part. I believe that he wanted to come out as Troy Becker, like a different name, and he wanted to get back on social media this entire time, and he had to figure out a way how to do it. So I guess saying that he got hacked or he, 
stuff leaked i don't even know i don't know but this is a really strange story and i really want to know what you have to say about it so like this video if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more content from me and i'll see you guys around see you guys bye guys love you